Alright, ladies and gentlemen, we're gonna get into this one immediately, because holy smoke is it ain't no joke, it's okay, we gotta talk about it, but guys, promise me that you're not gonna send this video to blame truth, okay? I don't want him finding out about this video, I don't want him to hear about the existence of this video, because the news that we have today, shocking, terrible, I'm saying, hashtag justice for the homie, blame truth, okay? Like the video if you think hashtag justice for blame truth, dislike if not i want to know where you guys at because and yeah right now you're probably wondering like what's going on hey excuse me like wh what's going on you're gonna hear about it in a in a second okay shout out to the homie nero cinema we're gonna get into this one but whatever you do don't send this video to blame truth okay all right roll it and i know it's a bit weird right now making an exifying video as we are in the midst of the black ops 6 beta but i would not be doing that if it weren't for the news being so ridiculously yeah. important to the future of here it comes, guys. Here it comes. Sit down, clench your butt cheeks, uh, put your puppers on a leash immediately, boys. That's uh, that's your last warning. Hashtag justice for blame truth, bro. Bex Defiant as a whole, because apparently the game is not doing very good and it may very well shut down in the relatively near future. Yeah, pretty damn big news here. So it's coming in from Tom Henderson, who is an industry insider. Who and you want to know why this is big? Because blame truth loves X Defiant, man. <laughs> Yeah, he loves X Defiant. He, by the looks of it, he don't like any game. And the only game that I heard him say that he liked was X Defiant. So yeah, and, and I was happy for this fella. I was happy for this gentleman. And right now we're here that he might shut down, man. He might shut down. <laughs> Damn, man! You suck as crazy. Hashtag justice for blame truth. As a as a brown man, I demand justice for blame truth, man. So what? He does not like Call of Duty, bro. A lot of people don't like Call of Duty, man. So what? So what? He likes X Defiant, man. Damn. He deserved better than that. He deserved better. People that love X Defiant deserve better than that. It should not shut down. But wait for the climax. That's not all. Who has his own website, Insider Gaming. I've covered Tom countless times here in the channel. I mean, Call of Duty leaks back in like World War II. Like, yeah. this dude's been leaking stuff forever. He's a very, he, he, very good leaker. I love the homie Tom Henderson as well, man. Shout out to Tom Henderson if you're watching this. Uh, Tom Henderson, welcome on in Gang Gang. He was uh, the guy that leaked the Lucia Bruna as well for GTA 6 and uh, Battlefield 2042. We all know where that what went down. <laughs> <Bad of it. laughs> but he was right, though. He was right. Uh, he was right. But uh oh, wait for it very reputable source and he apparently has been speaking to certain people at ubisoft in regards to x defiant and the news is not very good i'll put a link to the article down there in the description Damn. it's short sweet and to the point so i just want to read this out for you guys x defiant was all the buzz when it launched in may 2024 the game exceeded 1 million unique players in its first 2.5 hours which is a ubisoft record and exceeded over 8 million players in its first week executives were thrilled at the title's future and even reported in the company's latest press release that X Defiant revenue contributed to its quarter one 2024 financial success. But now, just six weeks from its quarter one financial report, Ubisoft headquarters wants player numbers to increase by season yeah. three, or X Defiant risks losing its much needed post launch support. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! That is crazy. So, in the first week, they did 8 million players. That's honestly insane. Even for a free to play game, for it to reach that many people, that is really really insane that is big you know shout out to them for actually being able to pull some like that but you're not ready for the climax yeah you're probably like wondering like how many people are playing this game right well guys wait for it i i heard the numbers and it's bad it really is bad and this is why we're hearing that they might cut the post launch ultimately that means it's gonna shut down right so yeah that's bad this is why i'm saying man hashtag justice for blame truth right now hashtag justice for him man that is pretty crazy right there apparently player numbers are so low that they may lose post-launch support and if we lose post-launch support well that's pretty much just the end of x defiant right i mean they might have the original content that came out with the game and some of the season one and season two stuff but if player numbers don't increase by season three they're talking about just stopping support for the game in general which is freaking crazy yeah. going back to the article internally optimism for the game has shifted primarily due to the game's continuously declining player numbers and lack of player spending one source Holy. told me that the game has been struggling to I, I i guess you guys also need the friendly maybe if you put like bundles like that <laughs> no don't put the bundles like that man i don't want it i don't want it i don't want it man yo it's so crazy right that with call of duty they sell bundles like hotcakes right we constantly hear them 
when Activision used to do their investor calls, now Activision got purchased uh, by uh, Microsoft. So Microsoft do their investor calls. And, and you know, a Activision is like now a side thing for them because they got so many other uh, projects, so many other services that they talk about during their investor call that Activision is like a side chick. But when Activision was its own company, you know, they would boast making three, four, three to four billion per quarter which means three months they would talk about making three to four billion dollars usd franklin benji's per quarter based off of microtransactions alone it is insane we're not even counting the sales of call of duty that's like a separate thing right but just them making money from call of duty microtransactions right so they make a lot of money with that uh, X Defiant did 8 million, so it's a free-to-play game, so no sales right there, but people must have bought like microtransactions, I guess they're not making that much money, so, and, and you know what, we're living in different times right now, games that take that long to drop content are surely gonna take, uh, surely gonna take a hit in terms of player count, and now what we're hearing, hear, now what we're hearing is that they're struggling to even keep 20,000 people, which is just insanity because you would think from 8 million, they probably would have like a, okay, worst case scenario, 100k people playing, but it's even less than 20,000. What this tells me is that people are not enjoying the game or they liked it initially, but they were like, yeah, whatever, I'm just gonna, it's like a pump and dump kind of situation. You're gonna hit it, but then you won't bounce. And that's uh, what happened. People hit it, and people bounce though gamers hitting it but they bouncing though but the homie blame truth he was not looking to bounce and that's what hurts the most because yeah man like justice for eight thoughts uh not what am i even saying Bruh. justice for the homie blame truth eight thoughts is always like hating on the the the, the homie for liking the game right you know what i'm saying but uh damn man Obtain 20,000 concurrent players across all platforms, whereas another said they, they being Ubisoft, would probably be happy with that number, suggesting it's now much lower. The declining Holy. numbers have created tension and anxiety within the team, with sources who spoke to me believing that more layoffs are only a matter of time. Damn. It was already confirmed via Twitter in kind of like a nonchalant way, just a reply message, but Mark Rubin did say that their team is going through a restructuring right now, and there were firings over at Ubisoft San Francisco. In Total, I think 45 people lost their jobs, and X Defiant apparently is struggling ridiculously to keep players playing and keep players interested in spending money. Of course, the game is free to play, it lives and yeah. dies by its shop. And apparently, according to Tom Henderson and his sources over at Ubisoft, if they don't up their game before Crazy. season three, Ubisoft. And we're talking about Ubisoft, right? And they're under massive turmoil right now with Star Wars Outlaws not doing that good, right? Uh, Assassin's Creed, the BBC Samurai situation, right? Uh, the, the captain, BBC! <laughs> right so they they went real crazy with that being racist towards japanese people being racist towards black people as well turning the only black guy in the game who was not even gay in real life they made him gay as well so there was a lot of like drama with that situation right and now we're hearing that this game is also not getting enough pre-orders so ubisoft is really in massive heat right now their stock plummeting right star wars not doing good we're hearing that assassin's creed not doing good as well in terms of pre-orders so far we only have we have to wait and see about the sales count X Defined was uh, something that was performing in the beginning, but not, but now not really is what we're hearing. Yeah, Ubisoft, uh, dog, like if, if it continues like this one and they do not start making games for the gamers, I, I wouldn't be shocked if in a year's time, two years time, they, they, they might shut down completely. Oh, shit. Oh. Right now we're hearing about they might shut down X Defined, but like I wouldn't be shocked if, if in like a year or two years time, maybe five years in the long run, if they don't, if they don't, change their course right they need to start making games for the gamers bro they need to up the quality listen to their their audience and they need to make the games for the gamers bro and ultimately i don't want them shutting down as much heat that we're seeing and yeah like we talked about everything right like the star wars the the, the bbc samurai situation making them gay and all that and dunking on the japanese people uh using black people as shields being racist towards them they always do that to black people they add black people in game and make them gay right of the right of the get-go so yeah yeah everybody had enough right so they're shitting on everybody's culture uh trashing everybody and then turn around and call gamers toxic problematic and racist and all that right so we're seeing all that 
and games quality are not that good as well and look at x defined graphically speaking it's not the best thing ever it's not the worst thing ever people were glazing it big time that hey it's a call of duty killer it's not a call of duty killer in my honest opinion it's not a trash game but it's not a call of duty killer either you, you feel what i'm saying and right now people are dipping like crazy but wait for the climax out might just pull the entire project that is terrifying to me, man. It really is. Like, X Defiant itself, when it first came out, was such a breath of fresh air. It still is. It's a fantastic game. Like, we're talking about Black Ops 6. Like, we're playing the Black Ops 6 beta and everything. Like, that game is the sweatiest freaking game I've ever played, man. I know it's a beta. I know that. Like, betas are always going to be sweaty. Yeah. But, like, it's night and day different compared to X to, to be fair, though, all I'm saying is that to bring everybody together, I do believe that Black Ops 6 is better than Concord. <laughs> I do believe that it's better than that than card card, okay? And, and yeah, that's fair. That's fair. You like X to find over Black Ops 6? Good on you, man. You find that Black Ops 6 is better than X to find? Good on you too, Kaji. I wanna know. One in the comments if you think Black Ops 6 is better than X to find. Two in the comments if you think Black Ops 6 is worse than X to find, meaning X to find is better than Black Ops 6. I wanna know where you at. One or two. X Defiant. X Defiant is actually chill. It's relaxing. It's colorful. I love the factions that we have in the game. The gunplay is solid. The weapon camos are nice. The maps are freaking beautiful. Like the game is fantastic. But I was talking about on my live stream tonight. It's just it's one of those things where the core game is good, but it's been out for so long that there's really not much for you to do besides grind your weapon camos, which takes forever. I've said that in pretty much every single X Defiant video. You know, there just needs to be more things for you to do yeah. within the game. Right now, you can jump in and play in the game plays good like arguably like really what, what we're learning is that no matter how good the game looks or feels people gonna abandon it people gonna abandon it same happened with the finals now the finals was considered one of the best game in terms of gameplay wise and graphically and it had destruction it had destruction you remember when we heard and saw the first ever trailer gameplay trailer for the finals i remember jack frags also had the, the 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 first ever gameplay for the game as well and uh, alongside other youtubers as well but i saw i remember seeing his video and it did genuinely look good and still to this day the finals look good but you see people don't even talk about it it is as though the game don't even exist and people just abandon that game very quickly too why because there's nothing really to do you play the game but that's pretty much it because there's not enough content to support it it don't have legs to support it and that's what we're lacking in modern video games right now maybe the game is good but if it doesn't have that much to do if it doesn't have that much content people just gonna just uh, skirt uh people are just gonna peace out there are multiple factors of why that's happening i i, I would like to say that it's probably the TikTok uh, attention span generation as well no no doubt about that right a and people are getting older as well games are not innovating as fast as players expectations lack of content games being made for investors not necessarily for gamers filled with microtransactions rather than actual content because you guys gotta understand that I i'm not against free-to-play games but i if i if i had the option to uh, in between like taking a free-to-play game versus a game that was let's just say 60 dollars 70 dollars complete at launch without any microtransactions but was getting frequent content uh let's just say every other week because you guys gotta understand that we're getting content these games getting content call of duty gets content like every other day bruh how well look at the the friendly bbc online look at the the the, 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 the micro transactions they have new skins new skins weapon skins player skins uh character skins they got new content added in the game by the looks of it every other day or at least once a week or multiple times a week right they are making content but you see they are making content for the whales for people that are willing to spend twenty dollars thirty dollars weekly on the game that is pathetic that is insane even if you got a lot of money you have to agree right you if you got a lot of money yeah go for it i mean buy whatever you like i'm not against that but even if you got a lot of money objectively speaking you know that's pathetic i would take i would rather take a game that is 60 dollars, 70 dollars that is getting content for people that is not a microtransaction instead of a free-to-play game that is getting barely any content and the only content that is it's getting is 
microtransactions so twenty dollars thirty dollars weekly i get it if it's a free-to-play game they gotta make money somehow to keep the servers running i 110 percent get that if you're gonna make your game free to play i get that you need to make microtransactions and twenty dollars thirty dollars skins yeah go for it make that but you also need to keep the quality and frequency up to keep your free to play player base around as well which means that you need to have content that's also free and good content that's free that will keep your player base around stick around so they play the game and ultimately buy a skin or two or if you have enough whales playing your game and uh, whales basically mean people that are rich okay like that's the term and these like always talk about the whales during their investor call that's what it means like the video if you agree man like uh if you think we deserve more and better content rather than like microtransactions uh right like 70 dollars game but no microtransactions that's where i'm at man we deserve better gamers deserve better like the video if you agree just really like freaking good. I love X Defiance gameplay, but just playing the play pretty much because weapon camos take forever. Like it's like 400 levels to get the max camo, and you might get like two, two and a half levels per game if you're lucky. Like do the math on that for Bruh. one individual gun. So there's no real grind to the game. You can jump in and enjoy the gameplay, but that only lasts so long. Maybe back yeah. in like you know 2003, you could have a shooter game that comes out where there's no real progression and it's just you versus other people and you enjoy that. But gaming's evolved in the last. Yeah. 20 30 years man like there needs to be extra uh, times have changed and uh, fps games usually listen I'm, I'm a big fan of fps games like that's what i grew up with that's what i always played call of duty battlefield gta right that this was my bread and butter i would always play three of these franchises alongside story games big fan of story games man i love story games man i i want to see more story games too but the older i get the more I i'm gravitating i'm gravitating towards uh, story games and single player games more it's not that i hate uh, multiplayer games but it's just that every multiplayer game is out there to get my money and the quality is not there and it's not evolving with the times and with the expectations of the players too big big issue right now in gaming and i think i i, I don't want to blame fortnite but these suckers that are trying to copy fortnite are the ones to blame uh, are to be blamed because fortnite that's like a different game they try every game is trying to be fortnite even to this day when did fortnite release i don't remember like 2017 maybe before that 2017 2018 maybe before that and ever since that like gaming has uh, permanently changed i don't blame fortnite because they did uh, crap for their own game and their players their audience loved it but it doesn't mean that other publishers that are going to copy their model it doesn't mean that their audience is going to support it too you feel what i'm saying you feel what I'm saying? There needs to be meta challenges. There need to be a lot of things for you to grind for, things for you to do, like prestige mode, for example. They talked about that pre-launch. You know, right now we don't have prestige mode. That's one thing, but the player leveling in general is horrendous right now. Like once you get up there, it exponentially gets harder and harder for you to level up. So, you know, level one to level two might take a little bit, but it feels okay, right? But then level two to level three takes even longer. Three to four takes even longer. And then when you're like me and you're up in the 100s, like I can oh, play the game for four hours straight and maybe level up one time now that i'm up there in the level 120 130 range or something like that so there's no player levels the weapon levels take forever Crazy. and then the map content is very few and far between initially it was revealed that we were getting one map per month but with the overall lack of content with the next defiant one map per month just really isn't enough to keep oh, fans yeah. interested like when they released clubhouse that was fantastic but then we had to wait an entire month with no real updates or no real content being added to the game and then they added daytona which is only there and available in linear game modes so if you just want to play tdm hotshot domination occupy or whatever you can't play that new map a, a lot of these games uh, thrive on hype and maybe this is going to be an unpopular opinion and maybe some of you are going to disagree and that's perfectly fine but you guys remember the the black ops 2 dlc days okay you remember the battlefield 3 dlc days even battlefield 4 back in the days there was so much hype whenever a new dlc would come out right a, a season pass right yeah exactly with that we would have four map pa map packs right new weapons in battlefield usually in, i remember when call of duty came out with the dlc one for black ops 2 they had peacemaker that was the first time ever when call of duty introduced a weapon with their dlc and a lot of people were like wow, wow. 
<laughs> I, I remember the hype was crazy because that was Call of Duty's first time <laughs> introducing a weapon. Meanwhile, Battlefield 3 and, and you know, Battlefield Bad Company 2 even, uh, Battlefield games, we're introducing crazy amount of weapons like easily like five to ten weapons per dlc pack they would also have new vehicles maybe not five to ten weapons maybe i'm exaggerating here i don't remember my memory's foggier than snoop dogg's bathroom right now but it had new vehicles new weapons and new maps four of them and those maps were really really lit i remember the you know that kind of music that just adrenaline pumping music for the trailers, same goes for Black Ops games, Call of Duty games, and same goes for Battlefield games. Like, they would really hype up their products, their map packs, and release, like, good content. I, I miss those days, man. I, I miss those days. People usually, e even people that wouldn't buy those uh, season passes and map packs, they would be hyped as hell to at least watch and see, like, how those maps look. I remember that time. It was really, really solid. Now that everything has become free, it's like... Uh, I, I love the, the idea of like people getting free maps and whatnot, don't get me wrong, but the hype is not there. I think it's because people are getting older and uh, FPS games are not innovating the way they would back in the days. I think it's a little bit of both. I think it's a little bit of both. And they're also not hyping the map packs like the way they used to, which totally makes sense, right? Because back in the days, they had to sell you, right? They had to sell you the product now they're relying on hey uh just play the game and yeah here you go man free map for you i think they really need to start hyping because hype is what sells games and hype is what uh, especially for fps games man hype is what brings people back even because yeah you, you can argue that call of duty uh has been trash 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 you, we, we can say that but it sells the best why is that hype because of hype they do a very good job in terms of marketing even if you don't like the game or you love the game their marketing is usually good at least nowadays at least in order to sell you the game maybe not necessarily for the new maps we can argue you can disagree you can agree uh, that's fine but at least in the very beginning like we saw the black Ops 6 reveal right they went crazy they really went crazy check out this video on the screen guys we had insane news about black Ops 6 man i'm not sure if you guys saw that or not people going crazy right now check out this video on the screen and i'll see you right there if you already seen it then check out the video on the left man a ton of rage right now in the gaming community, bro.